Alright yo, it's going to run Yorks here, welcome back to another Beast Farm Simulator video. And in this one, I'll be bringing you the ultimate Beast Farm Simulator guide. So as far as I know, this is going to be the latest Beast Farm guide that's actually good. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, or it helps you out somehow, make sure you drop a like and sub. Really, this helps support me, and it keeps me wanting to make more videos, you know? Oh, no diamond egg cringe. But yeah, other than that, let's just get right into it. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, this guide will help you no matter how many bees you have. Whether you're early game, mid game, or end game, this guide will help you. So yeah, now that you know that, let's just get right into it. So I'll be starting off with the order in which you should buy all your tools and all your gear all that good stuff so we are gonna start off with the top gear shop so by this i mean the beekeeper's boots beekeeper's mask the mondo belt bag the porcelain dipper and the porcelain porta hive once you have all that you're ready to move on to the next step until you have that don't worry it's quite easy to get only like a day of grinding or so but once you have all the top gear shop you're gonna move on to this badge little shop so in the ace area y'all know there's a free royal jelly and there's also and there's also four things you can buy so you have the honey mask the cobalt and crimson guard and the honeycomb belt so the first thing you want to buy once you unlock the ace shop it is the honey mask because not only is it handsome and you're going to be the hottest person in the server who wouldn't want that but it's also incredibly good you get your first passive ability which is the coin scatter 15 percent the ability rate capacity pollen all that good stuff like pretty much anything you want in a rather cheap mask probably shouldn't be calling it cheap for me it's pretty cheap to get it might seem like a big investment and like a lot of stuff you're gonna have to spend to get it but trust me it's worth it it's one of the best things you can buy in the game for the price another thing this is just a tip for me so free tips from Yarix you already know a lot of people might tell you to buy the bubble mask which is right here in the blue HQ yeah so bubble mask costs 500 blueberries 50 blue extracts all that other stuff glitter oils and 100 million honey so it pretty much costs the exact same as the honey mask same exact thing with the fire mask it's just the red version of the honey mask yeah so glue enzymes the reason you do not want to buy the two I tell people all the time just stick to the honey mask because it is amazing the reason I tell people to buy the honey mask rather than the bubble and fire mask is because it's just good for any field or any hive color. But for example, if you have a fire mask and you're trying to farm in the blue field, you're gonna have so much trouble like getting pollen, getting honey. I'd recommend just stick to the honey mask. It's simple, it's cheap, and it's gonna last you a long time. And after you buy the honey mask, you might have your eye set on the honeycomb belt, and that would be the right purchase to make because it gives you capacity, 25% capacity, a lot more capacity than the Mondo belt bag from the top. Top shop colorless speed attack honey from tokens which is going to be insane matching your coin scatter ability it's just a very good belt you're gonna have it for a very long time until you get the pedal belt and it's not too expensive after the honeycomb belt there are two different sides to this but i say you get crimson and cobalt guards once more they're the best guards in the game at the moment so you're gonna have them forever until on it stops being lazy and updates the game yeah so not much to explain best guards in the game you can look at all the stuff for yourself after that you should go ahead and buy the pedal wand the pedal wand requires a bunch of resources but most importantly a spirit pedal a spirit pedal is something you can get from completing 10 spirit bear quests and it is probably the hardest quest line in the game for early and mid game players some people might disagree and say you should donate your first spirit pedal to the wind shrine to try and get Windy Bee, but I disagree, because if you donate your first spirit pedal, you're gonna have so much trouble getting the second one. Meanwhile, if you use the spirit pedal on the pedal wand, which is pretty much the best tool in the game behind the end game collectors, which are very hard to get, it's just gonna last you a very long time. So I personally use the pedal wand as a blue hive. I made one quadrillion honey without tide copper. So this is a very good tool. I recommend you buy it. Around the same time, maybe before, maybe after you buy the pedal wand, is the gummy mask. The gummy mask it is probably the best mask in the game. Some people might disagree by saying like masks are good for their respective hive colors, but I disagree. Honey mask, it's good for white hive. It is the best mask for white hive, but it's also good for mixed hives, which is something that a lot of mid game players are. It is very bad to become a specific hive color when you're early or mid game, and that is because you do not have the Supreme Star Amulet, which I'll get into. But gummy mask, it is gonna last you for such a long time if you do decide to buy it. It's very good for honey, it's very good for early and mid game boosting, and yeah. It's just worth having. Time to flex my Tide Popper. I have two endgame tools. And one day, I'll buy the third Gummy Baller. After the after buying the Gummy Mask, you probably realized you're way too powerful and you're getting too much pollen for your backpack to handle. So that's why you have to kill the Coconut Crab. After you kill the Coconut Crab for yourself, you should get all the loot, obviously. And when you enter the Coconut Cave, you will find yourself two things. The Coconut Clogs and the Coconut Canister. And the Coconut Canister is the thing you're going to want to buy. It is, at the moment, the best backpack in the game. I'm not sure if you're watching in the future on it will update the game and add something new. But 
This is a backpack everyone's been using, all the leaderboard pros making 5 quadrillion honey per day, they use the coconut canister, and for the price, it only costs 25 billion honey and not too many resources. Yeah, so for the price, it's not too difficult to get. It might take you a bit of grinding, personally I found the honey the hardest thing to get because all the extracts and the tropical drinks are easy to get by crafting. P.S. Don't craft tropical drinks, just kill the coconut crab please. Oh no, all my loot is disappearing. Yeah, very good backpack, you should get it. Around the time that you bought yourself the coconut canister, you are probably getting close to getting your second spear pedal. And when you do actually get your second spear pedal, some people want to buy the pedal belt, but that is wrong. Pedal belt, as good as it is, is just not worth buying with your second pedal. What you should do with your second pedal is donate it to the windshine. That's right. What's the thing that looks the most like spear pedal? Oh, probably gift the diamond egg. Well, I'm not going to boost, even if I want to. I wouldn't be able to boost. No red ones at all. I got all this cringe. Donating your second spear pedal opens you up to the possibility of getting your first Windy B free to play. The way you get Windy B, I'm sure most people know, but if you don't, you donate your spear pedal and and after that, any cloud vitals you donate to the Wind Shrine, you have a small chance of getting Windy B. And after you donate your second spear pedal, you should probably focus on getting the coconut clogs, which are the beautiful clogs that I'm wearing right now, and I definitely didn't equip them by accident. But yeah, coconut clogs, they are a bit cheaper than the coconut cancer, but it's just like the honeycomb belt. It's not the best item that you can buy in the game, but you're going to be using it for a long time until you do end up getting the best item. So you get coconut haste, which is another passive, and jump power, move speed, pollen. It's just very good boots for the price. Supreme Saturator is something you're also going to want to look at. For 55 billion honey and 10 Grandmaster badges, you can get yourself the best sprinkler inside the game. Once more, on it might add a new sprinkler by the time you're watching, but at the moment that I'm making this video, this is the best sprinkler, so you should definitely get it if you can. After you buy the Supreme Saturator, you probably got tired of using the gummy mask. Personally, I would too if I had to use one thing for the rest of my life in Beast Swarm. So that's why you should probably look at buying a new mask. The second mask I would buy if I were you is Demon Mask, because Demon Mask serves its purpose, you know? Just like Gummy Mask is good for grinding with any hive color, Demon Mask is insanely good for attack. If you're gonna be trying to kill the Coconut Crab, or Tenlo Bear, or even Stump Snail, this will make your kill time much faster. I'd say you can kill anything 1.5 2 times faster just by buying the Demon Mask, so it's something worth having. And plus, if you do decide to become a Red Hive, it's like a mask you already have. And back to the very controversial discussion, based on what mask you buy, you should buy the respective smaller mask. So for example, if you buy the Demon Mask, you should buy yourself the Fire Mask too. And if you're wondering why, it is because the Fire Mask has a passive. So as long as you have Demon Mask equipped, you can have the Fire Mask passive, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. If you buy the Bubble Mask and have the Diamond Mask equipped, you will have the Bubble Mask passive. That's a lot of words for Blue Hive. After you cop yourself on the Endgame Mask, you probably have gotten your third Spirit Petal, or you're very close to getting it. So when you do end up getting your third Petal, I'd recommend you actually buy the Pedal belt. Yeah, pedal belt, best belt in the game. There are some leaks of a coconut belt, so maybe once more there's a better thing by the time you're watching. There are some leaks of a coconut belt, so that might be added, so that might become the best belt. But that is gonna be extremely expensive. It is an end game only item, so pedal belt, right now it's the best thing in the game that you can buy, so I recommend you buy it with your third pedal. I mean, to be fair, it is the only thing you can use your third pedal on, so you should buy it regardless. Next, the gummy boots, which are the best boots in the game, and extremely overpowered. Well, not anymore. They were extremely broken like five years ago. But even now, they are the best boots in the game. They serve a good purpose for any hive color. So if you want to become an endgame player, you definitely need to own this. You also get a Gucci L passive, which I'll show you what it looks like. This is an extremely cursed setup to have. I have the Tide Popper, the Demon Mask, and the Gummy Boots. So I have one of every hive color on me right now. But yeah, this is what the Goo Trail looks like. You literally just get a trail of goo. It's in the name. But after you get the Gummy Boots, the only things that are left for you to buy are one of the three endgame tools. So you have the Tide Popper, the Gummy Baller, and the Dark Sight. Personally, I was Blue Hive for about seven months when I got myself the Tide Popper, and when I switched to Red Hive, I bought the Dark Sight. But they are extremely expensive, so make sure you decide what hive color you want to be. You've probably already chosen the hive color way before you get an endgame tool, which is something you should do. Because obviously, getting honey as a specific hive color is much easier rather than being a mixed hive forever. So yeah, I recommend the easiest hive color to be is blue, because all you gotta do is macro and you make a couple trillion honey per night. However, if you want a mediocre challenge, I'd recommend you go red. And the reason blue is also good is because it does not require an endgame tool to actually make good honey. Unlike with red and white hives, you actually need the gummy baller and the dark scythe to make good honey. So unless you own them, you're gonna be making crappy 
happy honey. So blue is probably the easiest and the cheapest hive color to be. Some more tools I have for you is actually macroing because as much people like watching Vitamin Delicious and being macro free and free to play, it is extremely hard to actually succeed in V-Swarm if you don't macro because it's very hard to keep up with the leaderboard players. But if you do decide not to or you cannot macro, which is pretty unfortunate, I heard iPad players can use a spoon to like simulate an auto clicker. So hey, any iPad players, just grab a spoon from your kitchen, put it on your iPad screen, and there you go. You have a free auto clicker. Here's my festive planner. Let's see what I get from this. If I get a diamond egg, y'all gotta subscribe. Hey, I got a silver egg. It's close enough. You already know, silver egg just as good as diamond egg. Some more tips I actually have is just playing with friends. If, if you wanna become ungame at Peace Farm, it is very boring. It is gonna be a lot of grinding, a lot of macroing, a lot of doing absolutely nothing, and a lot of repetition. So a lot of doing the same stuff you've been doing over and over again. So I recommend that you do one of two things. You either play with friends. If you want, you can join the Discord server. You can find some friends there. My Discord server is mostly friendly for the most part. Or you can just watch YouTube. So if you have another device, like if you're playing on laptop and you have a phone, you can pop Netflix open, watch the top shows. What is the top show today? I don't even know, bro. Is Wednesday still popular? <laughs> Or you can just watch YouTube. You can watch more of my videos while playing Beast Swarm. That sounds like a fantastic idea. And if by some chance you only have like a laptop or like a PC with one monitor, here's something I used to do. So pretty much you can do a split screen and you do this by just dragging the top of your tab. So like this, you can do this and you can also select the next window. So for example, if I want to watch my new video, I could just do this. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, drop a like and sub. You already know, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and sub. Even me from the past told you to do that. But yeah, you can do that to grind with multiple screens it is extremely helpful i find it way more entertaining to grind beast swarm even though i don't really play when i used to grind a lot like two and a half even two years ago i used to grind always watching a youtube video bro i remember i was killing the thumbnail which is watching lego ninjago that was a blast it's on netflix everyone should watch it at least once in their life best show on netflix ever oh yeah i might also start playing in public servers more because you know it's kind of fun inter interacting with people you got this professional macro who's definitely getting all this honey legitimately and you have some fans so if you guys want me to play in public servers more so you can meet me maybe tell me in the comments and i will be dropping some more tutorials soon so if you have any requests for a specific tutorial tell me in the comments and i might make it into a video yeah other than that i love you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace